Okay, so, uh, I was thinking, I previously recorded an hour's worth of New Super Mario Bros. Wii footage from here on upwards, but Camstasia muted my record, my narration, so what instead of I was going to do was I was just going to re-narrate over the parts I recorded, so I was re-narrating part 13, and I was like, no, I, a game like this needs commentary at the same time as playing, or it's just... It's not the same, like if something happens, if I get close to dying or something, I need that reaction there. If you get what I mean. This game needs, pretty much needs narration at the same time as recording. So, I am going to re-record it, and I am going to feel so much better because of it. So, here I am, I am recording, I am narrating at the same time as recording. Screw re-narrating the parts that I recorded. I am doing it again. Why? Because I want to make sure I have the best hard quality videos I can get because I has an OCD for perfection you know show you all of many OCDs well most people seem to have an OCD of some kind but mine seems to be I have perfection OCD where I just want everything to be like as good as I can make it but anyway I've enough talking about that I'm actually gonna start talking about the main part now. So this is Iggy's tower. Whoa! whoa, whoa. I almost got hit then. This is Iggy's tower. It's pretty easy, really. Looks difficult, but it really isn't. I mean, it just keep going from left to right, and the platform's always placed conveniently, so that's not hard. And there's a star coin to the right up here I think. Oh of course I need to take the spring. Chuck it over here. And oh how am I supposed to get up? Alright yeah. I I I oh cock. Cock in a sack. Oh, I almost jumped right into the spikes then. Okay, so Iggy, he was the um first boss in oh that's close. Stark went over there if you wanna you got nerves of steel. You wanna go get that? It's really not that hard. So yeah, Iggy, he was the first boss in Super Mario World and I believe the boss of World 4 in Super Mario Bros. 3, but here he's in World 5. He's pretty easy. So I can beat him without taking a hit. It shouldn't be hard. He's really, really easy. Compared to... I think the boss in the next world, Morton, he's quite difficult, actually. Oh, oh, oh. I almost did take a hit then. Yep, easy. And next we have a stage that I actually hate. And I will, it will make me irate. Ah, oh, I'm so funny with my rhymes. He falls over because he's a failure. Iggy's just like a big hyperactive idiot. Really shouldn't be the hit uh, in World 5. He should go back to World 1 where he belongs because he fails. Whatever. I'm not sure if there's any Iggy fans out there. But, I mean, you must all admit Iggy's a bit of an idiot. Whatever. Oh! Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh, I was almost got hit by that Goomba then. Goomba's going to die from his hitting. And so is this one. Alright, so this stage, this stage, I didn't, I didn't like this level. It's, it's got, a, I guess, a kind of cool mechanic, but it's just not fun. Alright, so here we're on a raft, and it's got a zero at the bottom, as you can see. Four zeros. As soon as this Koopa drops onto it, it goes up, it goes up, so... They, the number here is the number of enemies that are on it, but if that number reaches five, the raft just stops. You've got to keep getting these enemies off the platform raft thing or the raft is just going to stop moving. So you got to keep getting these things off. And I don't think it's that fun a level really, it's just annoying. Got to keep get, make sure that number doesn't hit 5. Now, ah, oh, well, at least I get my fire flower as soon as I get take a hit. And oh my god, there's a lot of those enemies and there's mini Goombas, those will still slow down the raft, which doesn't make sense. These mini Goombas, they grab onto you and slow down your walking. 
and your jumping ability. It's your sh shape that we are to get them off. Alright, see I'm going to let some grab onto me. And my jumping's a my jumping's a lot worse now, so it's got to give it a shake and they'll go off. Here we have a pow block. I think I'm actually just going to... Oh, never mind, the bubble just ruined that. I was going to save that, but the bubble ruined it, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh! Crap. Right, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try this. Okay, I really didn't think it would be that easy to get rid of a massive piranha plant. Let's chuck a bubble at it, and I think, yeah, there's another one there, so I can just go like that. Bubble bombs really are good for just freezing and chucking. Now, this next dark one here, I think I'm actually going to get it, because it's fun to get. Let's chuck a bomb there. Don't know why, it's a fun stark one to get. If I died getting that then, which I wasn't even close to, but if I did die trying to do something that I didn't even need to do, I would have been pierced off. Whatever, it's the end of the level. Fail. Cooper hits me at the end. But at least I get a one up. And now we have the ghost house, I believe it is. Yeah. On the recording I did earlier, of this. I accidentally got the secret exit and got this warp cannon. So I'm going to make sure I don't accidentally use the secret exit this time. Well, it, was, it was pretty funny. I accidentally find the secret exit because oh, the secret exit is actually quite close to the beginning of this level. I might make a video showing it. Who knows. I know I dropped down here which you don't want to do so just where is that hidden block? I oh, know there isn't one here. What am I saying? I'm just screwing up now. So, anyway, this ghost house is dark, so we need this light bulb block here to light the way. And I think I can go through this door. Yes. Yeah, this is, I think, the right way to go. If you don't want to get the secret exit. And now we don't have a light bulb block, we have these lamp things at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, where the platforms rise and lower. Because, yeah, the first time the first time I recorded this, I never did this ghost house before, so I was just screwing around, so I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of glad that I've now played through this level, so I wasn't just cocking about like I was the first time I recorded it. Because trust me, it wasn't fun to watch, I was just getting lost and I had to make several cuts, and it wasn't fun. Whatever, we got a one-up mushroom, so it's all cool. That's it. That's a lot shorter than I remember it being. A flying block? I swear there's like none of those in this game. I mean, yeah, there's like no flying blocks in this whole game. And I still have another two minutes, so... Wow, could I even start the castle? Yeah, I think I actually will. Oh, great, we've got a piranha plant moving about. But you know what? Uh, wrong button. S screw it. This is why having a star on the map screen is awesome. Screw you. And screw you. LOL. That's why you have a star on the map screen. Now, if I remember, I think this is my one of my favourite castles. Yeah, it would have to be. Definitely. Yeah, I, I love this castle. This castle is awesome. The castle stages in this game are really good. The towers... Okay, that was pretty fair. The towers, I don't really like the towers, actually. They're just these vertical levels. That, they're, they're not really that fun, but the castles, they really made the castles some of the funnest levels. And also the epic music, but I've already mentioned that in previous parts, so I'm not going to go on about how good the music is in the... Are you kidding me? I had the awesome propeller hat, and I could have just completely nailed this level with it. But it looks like I'm going to have to play this level the proper way. Which isn't fun for me. You know, I, li I like to get in the easy way out. LOL, I knew. No. Ooh. Oh, I missed the red coin ring, but I don't really don't care. Yes! Hacksaw to the checkpoint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
with this thing to rise up and yeah it requires some well time jumps but it's really not actually as hard as it looks because the first time I was playing through this castle it was like oh balls this is like difficult but it isn't which I started to realize the second I didn't even get close to missing any of the jumps and I think it would have been funny if I died then considering how cocky I just sounded without intending to of course and Lemmy shooting his green balls of fire. Fire balls, yum! I hope lots of you get that reference. You know, YouTube poops, Super Mario World cartoon. Never watched Super Mario World cartoon, but it's always in YouTube poops. So, you know. Anyway, we've already made it to Iggy, but you know what? To be continued in the next part.